to join in this American tradition, expressing our deepest gratitude to our veterans and to all those still serving who put themselves in harm's way for us. We salute as well the military families who so courageously perform their own tours of duty here at home. And we give a special welcome to our wounded warriors recuperating at Walter Reed and Fort Melbar Hospital. Hey, Washington, D.C. We're here at the Capitol. My name is John Corbett, and I'm helping uh, uh, PBS with their Memorial Day celebration, which will happen on Sunday and in front of uh, hundreds of thousands of people. And they've asked me to be part of it. And uh, with Brian T. from Chicago Med, I am, uh, we're, we're talking about two uh, Korean War heroes who will be here uh, for, the, for the celebration. And um, we're telling some of their story and couldn't be more proud to do it. One guy's leg was turning black, gangrene. We begged the Chinese guards for a knife to try to amputate his leg, but they ignored us. And he died two days later. We'd all die if we didn't get out of there. We plotted an escape for the one guy who could still walk, and we prayed for the best. We were almost out of ammo, and the Chinese were still coming. My job was to save my squad, but it was hopeless. I shouted, I hold them off as long as I can, get out of here. By myself, I kept the machine gun going to give them cover to get away. And uh, I, during the rehearsal last night, I got really teary-eyed and felt quite moved and honored to be able to be here and introduce my segment in particular. I get to ask all the women who have served since World War II to come up on stage and, and talk about all the women who have served even before they were allowed to and the things they, they did disguising themselves as men to serve. And, and it's, it's just extraordinary and it's a great honor to be able to, to be here and honor them and all of, your, all of the families of people who have served. It's a lovely event. Yeah, it's a lovely event. And it's also, it's also really nice. One of the thing, my favorite things about this event is that it's um, sort of apolitical. In a time when the country yeah. is so divided and people are quite, you know, tempers flare and stuff, it's this, this soldiers really um, don't bring their politics into their job, right? And so it's a nice time to say, forget all that. Put all your thoughts aside about what you think about any administration or any, yeah. any politics in general and just say thank you to, to all of us. God bless the USA!